thousands of local jobs are up for grabs, and if you're having a hard time finding the right fit for you, job fairs popping up across South Florida might be the answer. CBS 4's Hank Tester has more on an event today at the FLA Live Arena in Sunrise. Looking for a job, or is it the other way around at the mega South Florida job fair? It is a job seekers market and employers are desperate to hire employees. Making job offers for over 9,500 jobs. What kind of jobs? Who's recruiting? Everyone from the service industry, municipal governments, like the Boca Raton Police Department. Starting salary, as you can see, $75,216. Uh, that's while you're actually in the police academy. So it actually goes up if you're already certified, but salary is going to start over. It's in the mid 80s. But the reality is a good portion of the jobs at the job fair hover around 15 to $20 an hour range. I know that it's extremely expensive to live here in South Florida. But that's a problem for job seekers and job recruiters. Can they provide a living wage for young workers when an average rent for an apartment in Miami is about $3,000 a month. In Fort Lauderdale, the tab is $2,400 a month. It's very expensive, and I can only imagine what it's like to, to work in an entry-level position making only 15 to 17 an hour. And for those at this job fair hoping to land a job and buy a home, they have to make $131,000 a year to afford an almost $600,000 home if they can find one, especially in Miami. In Miami, the average home price over $600,000, up 25%. In Broward, almost 400,000, up 30 percent. Things have, have been inflated, prices are going up like crazy, but, but it's doable, it's doable for sure, yes sir. Ever the optimist, many people turn out for a chance to work, but the question is, will these jobs support those who will take them? I know that some companies have starting wages from 15 and up, so uh, you know, it may be entry level, but I know there's an opportunity to grow. The sponsors of the job fair? Say over a thousand job seekers turned out. No word yet in how many folks actually were offered and accepted a job. Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.